Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing this violin here, which is an acoustic electric violin from the Tower Strings range of violins from the Fiddler Man. Now, I've reviewed three other violins in this series, which is the Entertainer, the Rockstar, the Legend. This is the acoustic electric violin. Um, I've done a couple of uh, comparison videos as well, so they will all be linked directly underneath this video here. Now this one kind of sits a little bit differently in the Tower Strings kind of series. So because it is an acoustic electric violin, so you've got the entertainer as your first entry level for the Tower Strings, then you've got your rock star, then you've got your legend, then I kind of guess you, you've sort of got this, but as I said, it's slightly different because it is an electro acoustic uh, violin so you can play this acoustically it's absolutely fine but also you can plug it in here plug it into an amp which you'll hear a little bit later you've got a few you've got a couple of controls on the side here so you've got the option of amplifying this as well as just playing it acoustically if that was something that you wanted to do so as with the others this comes completely playable out the case the bridge is already up um, the good thing about this is that the bridge is already up anyway because it looks like it's got a piezo pickup underneath the bridge. Uh, the bridge is a Despial bridge, which is a very good quality bridge. It's, it's the bridge that I have on my acoustic violin and it looks particularly well angled as well. So when I was tuning these up, I didn't actually have any problems with hitting any of the string, any of the other strings, sorry, um, from, from a poorly angled bridge because the bridge is very, very well angled, in fact, which is something that the Fiddler Man does tend to do. He has a good, he does know how to sand his bridges very well, in my opinion. The only tuning I had to do was very, very slight with all of them that are sitting here behind the camera and they were just ever so slightly down a little bit. So bearing in mind, this came from the USA to the UK. These were very, very well, it, they stayed very well in tune. I didn't have to faff around with any of the, the pegs up here. So this one here is priced at $389, which is about £283, depending on the exchange rate of the time. This is only available in 4-4 size, according to the, the website. So if you're an adult, this will be the size that you will need to get. Um, there is a quarter inch jack built into the instrument, which is one of these here. A carved maple and spruce woods. It actually looks to be a two-piece back as well, which, um, yeah, I think, yeah, it is It is a two-piece back. It's actually very difficult to, to tell. I don't know if you can see on here, but it is a two-piece back. It doesn't really make any difference. There's no scientific evidence to prove whether a one or two-piece back plays better or worse than the other. Uh, it's a durable, warm brown finish. It's got more of a satin finish, I would say. The Entertainer is very similar looking to this. The Entertainer has a satin finish, but the Rockstar and the Legend have more of a kind of gloss, kind of varnish finish to them. Uh, this one has a 100% ebony fingerboard and fitting, so we've got no plastic going on. A carbon composite tailpiece with built-in fine tuners. Um, a hand-carved Asian wood bridge, which I did speak about earlier. And then the strings are Prelude um, or Fiddler Man Steel Core strings on here steel cores are always better on um uh, electric violins i know this is a bit of a kind of a hybrid but they just project better when they are amplified and as it says on the website this is completely ready to play out the box just some light tuning required what you get is a sturdy lightweight shaped black violin case the others are red uh, the case includes carrying straps, music pocket, small storage compartment, and two bow holders. The bow is Brazil wood, so it's a really good quality um, wood bow. Tower strings, uh, rosin, violin shoulder rests, an ultra practice mute, a polishing cloth, a digital tuner, and a 10 foot music cable. So you, the only thing that you will need to technically amplify this if you want to is an actual PA speaker of some sort that's obviously not provided with the violin but you've, you've got the cable that you need to plug into uh, which side is it here and obviously in your amp and the only thing you'll need to buy is or have ready is an amp so you can use a guitar amp and just anything like that but you, you'll just need some kind of amplification speaker 
and everything else is in the box ready to go. So I'm just going to do some quick demonstrations for you now, the same with the other ones. I'm going to play with my studio microphone on so you can hear the true sound and the true tone of the violin up close. And I've also got a Zoom H5 recorder in front of me that's going to be recording the, the ambient or acoustic recording in the room. And you will also hear an acoustic uh, performance with the, the amp that I've got sitting in front of me here so you can hear it just amplified. So as with the others, I, I think it looks and feels absolutely fine. Um, I'll be honest, when I was playing it, I feel that it sounds most, or it sounds and it plays most similarly to the entertainer violins, but with the added difference that you've just got the kind of the, the electric kind of components to it, which kind of sets it off as a bit of a hybrid. It is uh, a little bit heavier than the other violins as well. So for example, this is the Rockstar. This is just one that I have to hand. You can definitely feel, this one feels obviously a lot lighter and this one feels a little bit heavier. It's not heavy to the point where I think it's gonna be causing me any problems at all. Absolutely not. It just feels a bit heavier, but there's no other way around it because you've got the electrics inside it. You've got a um, you've, you've got a, a volume and a tone control going on the side. You've got the jack in there. You've got the piezo pickup underneath the bridge, and you've got the wires all inside. So it is a touch heavier. But when I was playing it, I don't I don't feel that it was heavy. I didn't feel particularly fatigued. I don't think that I would have a problem playing this um, for the same length of time as as the other violins. Um, I, I I can play for a good two to three hours 
uh, without kind of getting a bit, a bit, a bit of arm ache and shoulder ache. So I don't feel like this would cause any kind of problems like that. It's just marginally heavier, but only because the electronics. But as I said, I don't feel that that's kind of a problem. So I think this is aimed at beginners because it's definitely an entry level violin, but I feel like it's maybe just aimed at those of you who just want to jazz things up a little bit. Maybe you want to do a little bit of fiddle playing. That's probably a good one to do. Maybe you are just in the market for an electro acoustic or acoustic electric violin. You want something to be a little bit more of a workhorse. So you want an acoustic, but also you want to be able to stick in the jack and you know, be, be fiddling away um, uh, along with a band or some other people, but you don't wanna be lost in that sound. So maybe for, for those of you that just want to just pump up the sound a little bit as well, so it is quite nice to have something plugged in. Maybe you've already got a guitar amp and you play the guitar and you've got all the cables and all the pedals and all this kind of thing. You know, you wanna just, you, you, want, you want both, but you can't afford to have a nice violin and have an electric violin at the same time. So this is kind of your, your two in one violin. You know, if you bought a separate violin, you could have whatever you wanted in that violin. So that violin could be, you know, whatever price you wanted to pay for it, it would sound like this, it will sound like that, quite light, quite dark, quite dark, you know, whatever you wanted. And then you would buy an electric violin, but obviously you're buying two violins at two different prices. This one, you know, the, 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 there are pros and cons with it. So it's a little bit heavier than an acoustic, which might not be so ideal for some people. Um, but on the positive, you've got, you know, the amplification side of it. You might not want the ampli ampli amplification side of that. So then you'll just buy something more acoustic. So, you know, it, it, it depends what you're looking for. If you are, if you want an electric violin, but again, it's more of the funds, you know, oh, perhaps I'll have to wait and you feel like you, you will use the electric violin, then something like this is gonna be ideal because you've just got a two for one, you know, sitting there right in front of you. And I still don't see why you can't learn basic technique from this as well. I see no reason why you would be hindered in learning properly. So if you were following my one to 30 violin course, for example, sitting behind me here, I, I don't see that that's gonna hinder you by having an electroacoustic violin. I would never recommend learning on an electric violin because those are set out completely differently. They're generally not great violins um, to really play on unless you're gonna be spending a lot of money on, on the setup for them because most of the money is in the electrics for the electric violin and, and the body of them. So the kind of setup and the feel of it can kind of suffer a little bit. That means that your intonation isn't gonna be quite so good. They're ever so slight. They, they just feel a lot differently. They, they don't have any, any of the acoustic ringing that you get from, from this because you've got sound holes and the sound is you know reverberating around, around the wood. So I would never recommend starting out on an electric violin for all those features. So this is a good one still to start with because you're still gonna be able to, to, to take yourself through a course like what I've got here in the background and still learn at the same time, but maybe put a little bit of ampl amplification on the sound of it if you were just feeling a little bit bougie and a little bit extra. And finally, just before we finish, this is great as a beginner violin, as I just said, for those of you that just want a little bit something different, but it also goes hand in hand with my one to 30 violin course that I've, I've got there. This is 30 lessons. It's completely downloadable. These books are just what I have printed off at home. So there's nothing physical to ship. So as soon as you purchase, you download them all as PDFs. You get five books in the set. So lessons one to 10 are completely free. All the resources, the PDFs, the handouts, the backing tracks, and all that kind of thing that come with lessons one to 10, they're absolutely free. So you can try the first 10 lessons. Then if you like those, you can then move on to songbook one, which, are t which contains 10 pieces to the same level that I've just been teaching you in the first 10 lessons. Once you've done that, you would move on to violin book two, which is lessons 11 to 20. Once you've done that, song book two, which is at the same level as everything you've just been learning in lesson book two. Then you'd move on to the next set of lessons, 21 to 30. When you've done that, you would 
get to the, uh, songbook three. My course guarantees to take you from a complete beginner to a very accomplished intermediate player. And that is 100% guaranteed. So for those of you that are looking to buy a violin, you're probably gonna be looking to start a violin course as well. Where do you start? Well, this, this is just the perfect package right here. So for, I don't know, about what, $450, $460, you've got everything you need sitting right here. You've got your, your violin course, which guarantees to take you from a complete beginner to a very decent accomplished intermediate level. And you've got a pretty decent electroacoustic violin sitting right here in front of you. Thank you very much for watching this review video. I hope it has helped you make a decision. All of the links to everything I've mentioned and all the other videos are gonna be linked underneath this video. So don't forget to check those out. If you've got any questions about the violins, drop them in the comments underneath and I'll try and get back to you. If not, the fiddler man, he'll be able to help you if, if I don't know the answer to the questions. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.